Okay, so before I overkill these pictures, let me explain what I've wrote, written here. Beware of corporate and social club white skin supremacists and crypto people who pretend to be ideal in suits and otherwise. For generations, these people have used drugs and everything at their disposal to pretend they're ideal and to get people to be variations of stupid, cheesy ideas. We'll get into how it connects to Eros and stupid Cupid, right? Eros is a play on words for sore, and the word Eros is scrambled in the word loser, okay? And also Rose, which was a symbol of secret society reproduction, okay? It's a long story why that is. Anyway, so these people would wear suits, they wear priest clothes, uniform, right? Uniform and uniformity. They get a bunch of liberals to act like these people, right? And some, some kind of rock and roll people to act like this, right? Some sort of demons, okay? We get a bunch of goofy guys. I'm into fitness, I'm a jock, and they, they look stupid, right? And they try to make it seem like I'm like them. That's part of why they've edited my pictures. We'll see how they've obviously added pink and, and so on and so forth. Why would I add pink to a picture like this, for example, which was nearly flawless, before they added pink and yellow colors to it. Okay, absolutely outrageous, absolutely immature. Look at this picture, for example. I think there's no pink on it. Um, uh, they, they might change it, okay? So at this point, you should be able to see it that way. On this one, it's clear. Okay, now let's go back here, okay? Um, so here we have, you know, it's the immature guys. Hey guys, we're goofy, right? They're clowning around this chick, kind of gender neutral, lesbian, LGBT, circus occult makeup on or some some kind of some kind of you know figure stuff. You know, there's figure skaters, figure it out, right? Figurines, which leads to this picture. You see how in a sense I'm like Spider-Man's body, but I'm not. It's it's like a falcon, faster striking body where he's kind of a goofy clowning around. And this is like a police officer right here. Okay, and here we have Captain America. It's very similar to this guy's body type. And we have Venom, right? A big knucklehead kind of, you know, think of animus. The, means spirit. It's the word that goes into animation. And here I've put, um, they edit my pics. My energy is not like theirs. Chuku Haru, a real hero. These are fake heroes. Okay, so women often act like complete clowns and date fake heroes while shunning a real hero. And that goes back big time, big time to this guy right here who is Eros. Eros and Psyche, where we get the word psychology. And he abducts her, okay? And she, she's in the labyrinth of Pan, so to speak. And Eros is said by the oracle to be a winged serpent. So she sees him one way, but he's really a disgusting, hideous devil. So image, right? The word I and game and mage are scrambled anagrams, right? I, I resembled this a little bit more before, but this is some white guy superimposed on me. And we probably have common ancestors, but uh, not on the patriarchal side. Okay, on the patriarchal side, you know, so to speak, it, you know, he, he's Romans and Greeks and so on and so forth. And guys that look like this or something. Okay. And where I have a, a, a firm African patriarchal side. Okay. Now, here we have Bruce Lee from Chinese Connection. You know, he, he's, he's facing the enemy. He challenges him, so on and so forth. Okay, and we'll get into that in another video. I'll just have to print that out. So what does it say here? Blood money derived elegance does not allow for true love. Okay, this, it, it, okay. It is, okay, so it means the, the adults doing it won't man up and women up and insist on true generational bigger picture justice without the individual prioritizing true justice. There is no true love. Okay, so these guys are living in a fantasy world, a psychological construct, psyche again, eros, sore, right, erotic desire, that's where we get the word erotic desire, that's not a coincidence, okay, and see, he, he's pretending to be some kind of angel or something, you know, that's part, often how they see the, the depictions of um, fairies, the depictions of angels in churches, and these are horrible people that are cheating, and you see here, clearly, even after they made it, me seem effeminate, right or something by editing my video uh, my, my picture just enough to make me seem gay and childish and cartoonish okay i'm still more handsome than bruce lee i'm more handsome than this guy i'm more handsome than all these guys so why are women shunning me because it goes back to the theme of this in the first place right she's being abducted right she's being you know zeus is king rape right he raped all these melita and and persephone the rape of europa the rape of the sabines and on and on and on and on okay where you see this, right? You see, you know, it's kind of like a, look at her carefully. A lot of females look like this these days, right? So these people are not only in a culture of tricking women into bed, they come from a long line of women who were tricked into bed 
and the bitch ass motherfuckers who never grew up. Eros is often depicted as a little boy, and this guy's like an adolescent or something because it's childish love. It, it, it's not real love. It's child. It's, you know, it's not even puppy love. It's organized rape cult, baby line, Rothschild, child, baby line, baby lawn, baby line, Babylon. Okay, nonsense. And just like these guys are supposed to be grown up, you know, grown up heroes that have romance often in their comic books, Mary Jane and Diamondback and whoever's with Hawkeye, right? But these are immature kind of arrow spirited fools. Even the kingpin in this has a kind of childish spirit. Animus, again, means spirit or soul in the word animation. And of course, I'm going to make the video about the genius, right? The, the, the mythology genius, which is a winged serpent. It's a, it's a winged spirit. It's often depicted as a serpent, which goes back to who is who is uh, Eros really? He is the genius of the cult of the emperor, okay? And that's also in the genius article from Wikipedia, which is actually correct about it. When I've sp uh, spoken to uh, various pagans, they agree that they're more or less right. All right. So again, the different figures. Okay, and you see how this guy's fucked in the head, and he's a floppy, you know, you know, he's a sloppy ass fuck. This guy's fucked in the head, and he's kind of, he's in better shape than that guy, but he's not in good shape. He wouldn't have a chance against me. I maneuver him no time flat, cut him wide open. These people are fucked in the head, and they do some weird twisting stuff. Okay, and this guy's fucked in the head. You see how I'm more serious, but they're trying to make it seem like I'm fucked in the head too. These guys are fucked in the head animation weirdos. Now, real briefly, because I said I was going to bring it up uh, before. Here we have, notice they have wings, right, which mean, which symbolize, write this down, traversing the realms. What realms? Lucifer and Satan, a female who's convinced to go along with it, okay? She's been swept off her, she, you know, it's a Stockholm Syndrome, right? She's coerced into being like, okay, what the hell, I'll go along with it. Just do what they say kind of thing, okay? Here's Poseidon who rapes people, God of the seas, earthquakes, soil, and storms, and horses. I'll just read this briefly and I'll wrap this up. Notice these are, this is Zeus. This is Hades. They look nearly identical. It's said to be his alter ego. Okay. Here's the rape of the Sabines. Notice they're kidnapping him, right? They're kidnapping him, right? And over here, he's kidnapping her. Over here, they're kidnapping them. It's a famous story where they set them up to meet at, you know, it's a model for rape, whether it actually happened or not. Some people say it didn't happen. They set them up to meet at some kind of sporting event of all things, okay? And, you know, again, sports rivalry is part of the Cold War, okay? And they kidnap them in mass during that event. This is a colonial thing big time. It also goes back to the right of Cloacina, and I don't have time to explore all this stuff, but it's basically about uh, if women roll with it, they argue that it's fair play to rape them. They say, oh, they know what they're doing. Oh, they know what, you know, we've all heard people say things like, oh, they knew better and act like a bitch, okay? Some bitch ass, never grew up bitch shit, which they they consider their love. And this, you know, look at this guy's face, look at his look. You think that guy treats women fairly? A lusting piece of shit? Erotic desire? Look at this guy. Ha ha, yeah, I get the thrive. Right, they're pieces of shit, okay? And I'm being shunned for people that think like this and this, okay? Horrible, horrible people. And sometimes people that are even fucking shaped like these guys because they're in the culture of these guys, basically, okay? And even the association in their own culture works in my favor and they're like, I'm a dumb bitch, I don't get it! And I'm fucking shunned, okay? It's a fucking disgrace. And I'm the top martial artist ever. I say, well, I, I don't think that they would ever do that. All right, right, then who the fuck is Marquis de Sade? Genius? Okay, what, what does this picture mean, right? What is going on here? Okay, how long did it take for you to figure out my martial arts challenge was the last true challenge and the only one that is fair, meaning truly morally correct? And they're taken away, right? They're abducted again. Eros is a childish bitch that doesn't want to man up. Vir and virtue means man in their own fucking language. Okay, he doesn't want to man up, okay, and do the right thing. And he abducts them. The females want to admit it's wrong to fucking reproduce these scoundrels instead of kill themselves. Okay, and they're like, I'm a dumb bitch. I'm an empowered dumb bitch. I am an occult dumb bitch. Okay, the roles, our roles in society. Isis is cult. Like others in the Greco-Roman world had no firm dogma. Basically, right, just be a rape called bitch, and its beliefs and practices may have stayed only loosely slimmer as it is diffused across the, you know, it evolved. You see, it says it evolved over time, right? Neo pagan, right? Greek, eh, whatever, okay, whatever it says. Make, make a long story short, folks. Okay, I'm fucking right. The way I define Isis is like saying a queen in Egypt, right, wasn't the same as them, but I stopped using that term because there's too much confusion. Okay, Isis to me 
is not a slut that rolls with sex called bullshit playing a Greco-Roman stupid game. It was originally the queen of a good man long ago. These people kidnapped her when they colonized Egypt in the Middle East, okay? And they started raping everybody. What happens when you start a trade world center and everyone teams up against, you know, a small group of black people who's at the cult of Nekin, for example, the followers of Horus, for example, okay? Everyone goes, oh, I'm a dumb man, I'm a dumb bitch. And yes, Narmer Pallet, he's tall like I am, okay? They, the followers of Horus weren't Jews, they weren't white people, okay? The original followers were black people and mixed black people. And a bunch of rapists came and said, fuck you. We're going to have our way, bunch of goofy-ass, bitch-ass motherfuckers, and beware of the suit-wearing bitches, you know, and the nerd. They're like, oh, yes, oh, yeah, that has nothing to do with the revenge of the nerds. How dare you try to force us to be moral? Now we're taking the women. Now we're taking them, you martial art guys. You, you, you motherfuckers. Just a bunch of bitches.